Russian President Vladimir Putin has held a wide-reaching annual end-of-year press conference in Moscow. In more than four hours of questions from journalists, he covered everything from COVID vaccines to his thoughts on Father Frost, the Russian version of Santa Claus. But there was a lot of focus on Ukraine. He insisted that Russia has a historical right to be involved in eastern Ukraine and blamed NATO for bringing missiles to Russia's doorstep. But he said he doesn't want to see an escalation in conflict. I've been talking about our welfare, health care and infrastructure measures. Will they mean a lot if, if, if we are plunged in a conflict? But we don't want that. It is not our choice. This is why I responded to President Biden's proposal. The ball is in their court now and they should respond. And by and large, we are seeing positive. Olga Ivshina from BBC Russia was monitoring that news conference and she told us more about what uh, President Putin had said. We need to remember that this press conference is, uh, first of all, oriented for internal Russian audience. And this, exact, this was exactly the message for internal audience. In a way, Mr. Putin is uh, creating these dangerous dragons, you know, uh, blaming it all on the West and saying that Russia is only responding to, uh, to dangerous build-ups from the West. And then he's sort of gloriously defeating those dragons, or at least that's what he's showing for his internal audience. But for external audience, it's also also very important, you know, in the way he is sending a message. He said that he's looking forward for negotiations with the West, which are due in January. And definitely this military buildup uh, of Russian troops uh, is giving him some uh, strong positions during those negotiations. And the same is with this um, gas um, prices uh, in Europe. Again, you know, uh, Russia is an important gas supplier. This gives uh, Putin additional strength during those negotiations, and that's exactly what he wants. He also addressed the issues of the crackdown on press freedom and political opposition in Russia. Tell us more about what he said. Uh, yes, you know, for many years now during uh, Putin's press conference, questions are uh, not, not, not uh, less important than the answers uh, because uh, for most of the time, you know, it's the only chance uh, in the year when Russian audience can hear certain things, hear certain questions, you know. Uh, for example, my colleague Petr Kozlov managed to ask a question about Alexei Navalny and about press freedom, as you said. Mr. Putin never pronounces the name of Alexei Navalny, and he always twists questions about press freedom. That's exactly what he did today. Addressing the question about, uh, you know, crackdown on uh, uh, press freedom in Russia, he just said that, you know, there are um, uh, laws about foreign agents in many other countries, including the United States. What he forgot to mention that in the United States, for example, this law only applies to those media organizations which get uh, funding from uh, state budgets of other countries and which don't criticize their own governments. In Russia, many, uh, you, you know, in Russia, those uh, laws are way more weird, way, more, way less clear. That's why so many people uh, got um, this foreign edge and tag, which is very devastating for any media organization or any journalist operating in Russia at the moment.